today I'm going to show you how to mask out the inside of this heart so you can put a photo into this image to be able to create a design like this. So you'll be able to insert the image inside of the heart. All right, let's get started. image which I will have it in sublimation and more Facebook groups files so you can go there and download it and I'll have a link in the description so first you'll need to unlock this layer by double clicking on the layer and then just click OK and then in order to mask this out the easiest way I've found is to do your magic wand select the color inside and if you hold down shift you see a little plus sign beside the magic wand you can click on other areas and it will add it to your clip now you can only go so far with this until you get pieces that you don't want to take out So let me just click on these and get them added to it. Alright, I've got most of it, I believe. And if you just hit your backspace key, it'll delete it out. And then hit Ctrl D to, to deselect. And from here, you will select your erase tool make sure your hardness is all the way up so it'll make it where it's a, a clean cutout instead of a hardness all the way down makes it where it's kind of a, a vignette a faded effect on the edges so hard brush and then zoom in and just erase these pieces this is the way that I've done it there's probably simpler ways maybe to do it this just takes some time a little bit of time anyway you can make your brush bigger by holding the left or right bracket key will make your brush a little bit bigger and you see the little bit of pieces here Try to delete those out. Try to keep your edges as smooth as you can. And you'll just go around the whole image doing this until you get the result that you're looking for. So let's just do this. And I'm going to make a rough, kind of rough. You can spend a little more time on it and finish it how you want. I would take this out. Also, doing this with a mouse is a little tedious to do, which is what I'm doing mine with. But they also make tablets, Wacom tablets. It's like you would be drawing on the screen. That's a little crooked, but you get the idea then just won't, won't do much if you do mess up you can hit control Z to take it back or over here in the panel click on this and just click up on these we'll take it back a step a little short tip there but you get the idea so you'll do that all the way around, make this smooth and just keep going until you figure out the or find the effect you're looking for. And also this has a website. What I did here is I got the 
Chrome Stamp tool by clicking this. If it's, it might be that. If you click and hold down on it with your mouse, click Chrome Stamp. If you hold Alt, see like the little bullseye. You can sample a part of the image. And then if you go down here and just click over the website. It'll get rid of it. I'm using this image without purchasing it from that website. So it's probably um, best if you're going to resell this design to go to that website and purchase it from them. But for this purpose, I'm not selling it. So isn't a deal right now. But if I did sell this design, I would go to them and purchase it. And as you see in mine, I put my in front of it. Then I put the date, 2016. Okay, you can do that if you want. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to show you how to put the image within that now. What I would do is make a new layer, go to your paint bucket, which is under your gradient paint bucket, whoop, just move the layer down, and what I would do is sample inside of this, as you see I've missed some pieces as well, so if you deselect and go back in here and erase them, out, you'll see that it goes back. But what I would do is make a layer below it and put a color in it. Then go back up to your heart layer. Which let me just name this heart. And sample by using the magic wand, sample the inside of this. And then control C, actually click back down on the layer one. Control C, then Control V, and move this above your heart layer. And what this does is, you see, I've still missed some pieces. So let's just go back in there and paint those a little bit. But for the sake of this video, anyways. What this does is it makes where if you pull in an image, right, let's pull in an image, just any image from my desktop. If you pull in an image and then you mask or clip it to the layer below it, it will. And if you hit Control T, it will make it where it'll only be over that section. Oh, and the how I mask that to it, a clipping mask, if you scroll between the two layers and you hold Alt, you see a little box with the arrow down, you can unmask it or unclip it and then reclip it to it. I mean, what you could have done is if you just put it below this layer, it would have done the same effect. But what you get into is if you say you have it off a little bit or something, it'll show that. So what I like to do is just have it masked to something. And then you can move it around. So that is how I created that effect. What I would do is just go back on this layer and straighten all this up some on the mass layer and everything as well. But um, that is how I created that design. This is Daryl with DX Decor Graphics and Design, and I will see you in the next tutorial.